many of us desire to have opportunities open before us. It could be through a career path, through a, another work opportunity, obtaining more finances, connections, relationships, friendships, it doesn't matter. But a lot of that has to do with our attitude. And here's the thought that I want to share with you in reference to attitude, that our attitude will either open or close doors of opportunities. And I remember that not too long ago, I had this very successful businessman approach me. He's like, hey, Stan, do you know of any person that might be able to fit this specific uh, uh, project management position? And I said, yeah, I said, I may have a few candidates. So I ended up reaching out to like three candidates. I explained to them all the benefits and this job was offering a lot of money to start up with. And uh, all of them were like, well, I'm not sure, Stan, even though I knew they were qualified and I knew that they could have actually used this opportunity. But because because of just their wrongful attitude uh, about themselves, how they saw themselves, about just everything else, they kind of brushed it off said, ah, I understand, that's not something for me. And all of them, uh, all three of those individuals brushed off this opportunity. And I remember a few months went by, I ended up talking to one of those uh, individuals. They're like, hey, Stan, is that opportunity still open? I said, no, no, it's been already fulfilled. They're like, oh, okay, no problem. And I already understood and sensed in that uh, type of a conversation, even in that person's body language, that they're like, ah, oh, man, I just missed out an opportunity. And they did. That particular person, and actually all three of them, they did miss out on a great opportunity. So the lesson here is this, my friend, that uh, sadly enough, it's because of our wrongful attitude about ourselves and just about those uh, things around us that uh, will determine whether certain doors of opportunities will open or close. Uh, it could be an issue of, of pride, selfishness, ego, our low self-esteem, uh, or, or many other things that when we're just stuck in our own bubble, in our own vacuum of stinking thinking or maybe our own pride or ego got a better of ourselves, well, I'm not sure, you know, if, if I want that opportunity or, or that connection because what I've learned personally in my life is this, that sometimes uh, the opportunities we look for, they will come like wrapped in like these different or strange packages. We're kind of focusing on this maybe career path or on this type of connection, but it comes into our life a little bit in a different different form or a different shape or through a different source or through a different connection. We're like, ah, well, that's not what I've been looking for. Not knowing that uh, through this particular person or through this particular opportunity, the thing that you've been desiring, looking for, it actually stands behind that. And this person or this place or this new job, whatever, is actually a stepping stone for something bigger and greater. But because we had the wrong mental attitude uh, concerning uh, the situation, uh, this connection, this network with this person, we, we kind of despised and we brushed it off. I, I don't need that. Only later learn, oh my goodness, uh, I just missed out on a, such an awesome opportunity. So here's the challenge to my friend that have the right attitude. Have the right attitude, first of all, by yourself and have the right attitude about life and about those people whom God will bring into your personal life. Because I do believe, you know, personal like divine connections and, and, and people that will, you know, just come into your life and go. But uh, when you have the right attitude, you won't be able, you won't miss uh, on those great opportunities that all of us are looking for.